Where's the pizza? Uh, Go fruit or Hey Fruit Bats, it's Banana Mama here. Today's video is on Jennifer Lawrence. She's an actress from Hunger Games. She's 25 years old. Here she is posing with an exploited, drugged up snake. And some of you might recognize her from her nudes that were hacked and leaked online. So Jennifer isn't on any social media. As she says, I will never get Twitter. The internet has scorned me. So it was a little bit harder to get information on her, but here goes. Okay, so time to put Jennifer's diet and lifestyle through the how much they give a fuck checklist. So does she eat dairy and eggs? Yes, she does. Meat and sea life? Yes. Drinks alcohol? Yes. Smokes cigarettes? Yes. Speaks out about animal rights issues? Not that I'm aware of. Wears cruel fashion, animal tested makeup? Yes, she wears fur and leather, dead animal skin. Weed, not medicinal? Yes, she smokes weed. Yes, she drinks coffee. Cocaine, party drugs? I'm unsure of that. So, so far, Jennifer doesn't give much of a fuck. The actress, who loves to indulge in guilty pleasures, happily admits to no feelings of guilt. I don't even think you can call it guilty pleasures the way I've been eating lately. The other day, I had pizza for breakfast, buffalo wings for lunch, and pizza for dinner. Far out. This girl is hungry, okay? I'm like, where's the pizza? So it's obvious that she is restricting her calories at other times, and then she's binging out hardcore. And if you can't see that, it's because you're a noob, okay? I've been coaching thousands of women. I've seen it a thousand times. I've done it a thousand times myself as well. So carb-loving Jen admits to liking potato-based products most. Probably my favorite food is potato... Just a potato because I like fries, boiled potatoes, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes. Well, Jen, this lifestyle, the high carb vegan lifestyle is all about potatoes. It's basically centered around potatoes. So you would love to eat this way because you can get your potato fix every single day, every single meal if you really want to. Jen always says she's not dieting, but the fact that she is so hungry in just about all of her interviews says otherwise. So I got you guys gifts. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, okay, now I'll be your BFF. Yeah. Yay, BFF okay, bracelet. Okay, now we're best friends. Okay, now. Okay. I mean, I hate to take one, but well, I don't call you. Give me a wash rag. I like that. That and toilet paper. The next time I interview you guys, I will definitely- oh, That's something I'll never forget. Yeah. So Jennifer has been quoted as saying, if anybody even tries to whisper the word diet, I'm like, you can go fuck yourself. And that comment stemmed from an experience she had when she was younger. I was young, it was just the kind of shit that actresses had to go through. Somebody told me I was fat, that I was going to get fired if I didn't lose a certain amount of weight. They brought in pictures of me where I was basically naked and told me to use them as motivation for my diet. And I feel like the media refuses to take responsibility for the effect that we have on society and a younger generation. So I can totally understand why Jennifer wants to rebel against these unrealistic Hollywood stereotypes, that's for sure. But is she a good role model herself? Is she healthy? Has she got to the weight that she's at now through healthy eating and a healthy lifestyle? No, she hasn't. So rather than focusing on weight, Hollywood should be focusing on whether the individual is a suitable role model. And here's a perfect checklist to start with. And as you can see, our girl Jennifer failed the test. This what was today like? Today was stressful and I had no time to eat. I am starving. Yes, well you can eat. There's uh, like 12... Is there food here? There, there's 12 plates afterwards. Wolfgang was here earlier talking oh, about afterwards. Show is so long. Now, uh, why was it stressful Sorry, for Sorry, I'm so upset about the food. Don't tell the producers. And yeah, Jennifer might be relatable, cool, cute and funny and we might see a piece of ourselves in her and that's fine but if the lifestyle that we're putting out to the public is one that is destroying our health, being a bad example to others and destroying the lives of animals and the planet, then we need to step our shit up. I have a McDonald's on the brain right now. What's going on? How on earth did you already find out? I know things. I know I'm kind of psychic over here at VH1 and MTV. Yeah, well, I forgot to eat because I was so stressed trying to leave the house and I got in the car and I was starving. That's four hours long and I can see the McDonald's right there, I saw. <laughs> For Lawrence was not going to go hungry at the Oscars. She told Us Weekly that she brought along some goodies to get her through the long show, including a Slim Jim and Pop Rocks candy. And I feel like the media refuses to take responsibility for the effect that we have on society and a younger generation. And I totally agree with that, Jennifer, but that statement is quite ironic because you yourself are actually not walking your talk and not being a positive role model for the younger generation. Jennifer, you are essentially the media, so it's time for you to take responsibility. If you truly want to be a good role model and stop starving and stop dieting, then step up to a high carb vegan lifestyle. You're going to be so satisfied. You're not going to feel hungry all day like you are at the moment. And you're going to be a fantastic role model for millions of youth around the world. Okay, Fruit Bats, so that's my video for today. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for the love and support on the last video. That meant a lot. 
So don't forget to go fruit or root yourself and I will see you soon. Give us a thumbs up if you want Jennifer to go vegan and you like these videos and I'll see you soon. You said that for the Oscars you were going to have on a corset because you've been doing it kind of comfortably the rest of the season. But yeah, I mean, it looks like you've got room for it's some actually, fries. It's actually because I'm so hungry. It fits great. <laughs> but talk to me after the McDonald's. Did you supersize them?